Good morning, degenerates. Right, three for today, and as well, I want to touch on three other horses that I might put into a small little uh, tricksy for a bit of fun. Um, they're definitely intriguing runners. Stay tuned for that. Uh, yesterday, nice to get the winner just in one selection in uh, Haydock. Um, but much the best. I just thought he might have been, uh, you know, the best handicapped horse on the day, and uh, yeah, he got it done. So yeah, nice for that one. Um. Today I just want to touch on Big Gossy. Big Gossy is a seven to four shot at the Curra. Now he's in the five twenty five, but it is a drop in class from lads, and I do lads and ladies. I do think Big Gossy's day in the sun could well be today. It should well be today if he holds that form that he's been uh, having. I really like his chances. So Big Gossy in the five twenty five at the Curra. He is short, but he is. Lads, he, his last two or three runs could definitely win this race. So a point win, big gossy. I would have liked him to see them jump for a seven pound claimer. But anyway, he, he's a banging form. The jockey gets on great with him. You know, um, you know, the jockey has a great relationship with the horse. So let's hope they can get it done. And then in Haydock in the 440, White Beam. This looks a really good filly, lads. She won in spite of, you know, doing a few things wrong the last day in Newbury. I see the drop her back to seven furlongs and she showed plenty of pace. Um, she won with a penalty, not easy do. Um, I think White Beam could be a very good filly. Can she show it uh, first time round the bend of Haydock? I hope so. Uh, but yeah, she has only ran at Newbury, so she has to, you know, a different challenge today. But I'm sure the connections will have had her well schooled around the bend. So White Beam could be very good. I, I marked her down as definitely a potential pattern horse, you know, stakes horse. So White Beam, 440 a Haydock, point win, 7 to 4. And then in the 515 a Haydock, Star Sink. This is an interesting runner today. He's had plenty of time since his last run and he has been gelded. I like that. I hate to see horses that have been gelded running, you know, very soon after it. I like to see that he was gelded in May, we're now in August, or he last one was in May, he was gelded sometime in between, and he's now in August. The stable had a big winner in Goodwood, and this horse off a mark of around 74, I think, or something like that, should have some upside. Now, he was clearly quirky, and he wears a hood, but he has some okay bits of form, and, uh, and so I'm sure Connections will be disappointed if he can't get his career on track. So we'll go pint win, star sink, nine to four. And I want to do a pint win treble on white beam, star sink, and big gossy. Uh, also, interesting horses today that are running is Turner Girl. We tipped her up the last day as one to follow. She ran, she finished second on her first start back this year. However, she's running in Linkfield on the all-weather first start in, you know, these tactically, these staying races on the all-weather lads are an absolute bookies joy. They are so tactical. It's hard for horses to win around there if everything doesn't go right. But Turner Girl is definitely a, a, a well handicapped horse. Can she show it today around Linkfield? I don't know, but we'll definitely keep an eye on her. Dubai, we legend. Tried six furlongs for the last time, or for the first time in... Tried six furlongs for the first time in Newbury in a decent race where he ran an absolute screamer. And they probably thought, because they were down in trip, let's make plenty of use of him. And just early, they just let him go a little, maybe a half a stride too much in the first kind of half of that race because the war track and go, go bears go and maybe if they had it anchored in behind them instead of coming up his outside maybe that could have been the difference of winning and losing dusty foley takes the ride you go palmer came here and won the big one with ebro river one time um the same uh, the the phoenix that's on the card same card today Dubawi legend, when he won on debut lads the talk of this horse he was the thought he was the next coming of jesus christ and I do think Dubawi Legend will run a massive race from a good draw with a trainer in form who this meeting has been very lucky to before. So he's an interesting runner in the 315. And then a horse that if it was good to firm ground, I would tell you to go a seven points win the max bet on today would be Tessie's lad. Tessie's lad in the 410 of Haydock. However, 
because the ground is is uh, not great. It's 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 different. It's softer. Uh, it's, it's by a Medician mare, which which wouldn't be you know Medicians tend to really want good ground now. However, I think his mother was Maracuja. She was second in the maiden in Nottingham. Did win a handicap on good to soft ground. The dam did, but Tessie's lad for me off four pounds higher is a very well handicapped horse. He was second to a horse in Foss last the run before he won. That farm has been well franked. So Tessie's lad is a real improving horse. But the ground is a question mark, so we have to tread carefully. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put Turner Girl, Dubawi Legend, Tessie's Lad into a little trick, see something for a fun bet. But Tessie's Lad on good to firm ground, I would really fancy him today. Dubawi Legend, trainers in form, six furlongs, cracking first run at six furlongs, and was always thought to be a very good horse. Turner Girl definitely had some upside, but a tricky little affair now on her first run on the all weather, so it could be hard. But the treble of the day, Big Gossy, Star Sink, White Bean. Bet safe, bet fun. Link to the Patreon service in the description below. My selection in the Phoenix Stakes. I have a four points win bet in that. I also have a six points win bet gone out in Ascot today. So really looking forward to a good, solid day. Fingers crossed. Smash the likes. Smash the subscribe on the YouTube, lads, and hit that notification bell. Do not miss any of these winners I give out. I give out late selections some days as well, and they have been on a tear-up. So do not miss them. All right, bet safe.